welcome to the channel and welcome to a beautiful morning here Stone Valley we are ready to go we have so much work we need to try to get done today let's take a quick look at the map and we can kind of assess what we need to do let's see uh, the animals they're doing pretty good cows are just fine they need a little bit of cleaning a very little bit of straw we can't do anything with food we've given them about all that we have we have some silage that should be I think it's clover silage that should be ready to go I do not have any May silage or grasslage so that's a thing in its own our pigs are up to so we've got 90 pigs since we have uh, put those things out there that's uh, that's pretty good that's almost 90 grand just in the pigs but the cleanliness, they need a little clean, they need a little bit of straw. So let's go grab ourselves a trailer and see if we can do something about that straw. Oh, well, I wasn't done. So that's just our animals. We come over here. Six and seven are definitely ready to harvest. We have clover in seven and we have grass in eight. The only problem is somebody screwed up and did not fertilize seven and eight so we've only got one fertilization state that's all on me always is six is ready to be planted three our onion field is ready to rock and I'm gonna get on that very shortly one is what was that that was barley and it is ready for a fertilization as well so we have so much to do we're just gonna have to kind of pick and choose what we can get done. I definitely want to get the onions taken care of. Let's drop this guy. And I want to, we have to, not want to, we have to keep our pigs and our cows happy. So we can't let them go without food. Oh, and I missed. I missed. Come on, back it up there. There we go. So we should be able to just zip in our silo here. Ah! I'm just trying to back up a little bit. There we go. Not quite so close. You know, social distancing and all. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We don't need any of that. No, no, no. Just, hey, that's all we're looking for. Come on. I know you're in there. There. Oh, straw. Huh. Okay. I don't think we are going to need a full trailer full, but we'll go ahead and top most of it off. So I'm going to fill this guy up and then head over to the pigs and see uh, if we can get them filled up, cleaned up, and make sure they're all good. They look happy. Just down a little bit of straw, nothing big. Let's dump that. All right, well, that is dumping. Let's zip over here. And there's our handy-dandy broom. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work so well. Well, just throw it at it. That, uh, stop it. <laughs> I think I might be going a little fast. Now let's just slow that down. <laughs> just getting beat by the broom. Stop it. Come on. It's not, uh, not doing very good this morning. Usually I have no issues at all with this broom. Come on. So if I just chuck it in the pile, it picks it up just fine. There we go. Now it was pushing them more like a broom. Let's set this around the corner. I don't want to run it over. I think they were doing okay for water. The straw looks much better. Let's pull them up real quick. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh yeah, they're just fine. Cleanliness is good. Alright. So now let's head over to the cows. All right, we are at the cow pastures. Let's see here. Oh, pull up the menu. 
and it is 100% so all we need to do is get it from there over to there now this tractor has done me okay but at the same time I am ready for a different tractor this 26 miles an hour just takes a long time to get from one field to the other Wow I had no idea they were gonna take that much straw it looks like it filled them up almost oh huh. <laughs> looking at the wrong one well it did pretty good we got a hundred two liters in there two thousand liters all right let's uh, hop out of here and let's go see here's our broom grab it oh yeah sweepy sweep and that is beautiful drop this guy right back over here where we got it so now we know we need to do something with the silage I assume that we needed to there we go all right so we got that now what do we need to do do we want to handle the silage right now I am not sure I might just leave this guy here for the time being I think that we need to go ahead and let's go get field one fertilized and then that is done and then we don't really have to worry about anything else right now uh, we do have some crops that can go in the ground but we don't have to put them in I want to focus our attention on this big old onion field right here I want to get that thing done and over with and I want to see how much cash we're gonna get from there I am hoping I have very high expectations so I'm hoping I am not crushed but it's a uh, I guess it's possible first thing why don't we well, you're cruising down those tracks. Let's see what are our onions selling for right now. Onions. 13.14. Woohoo! I think we are going to do just fine. Now, now I'm excited once again. Even more excited than I was. So I'm going to go. Let's go grab the uh, fertilizer spreader. And let's get field one done. And then let's get it done let's kick it up a notch and get it rocking okay we are ready to go here I am just going to zip around this and get this guy knocked out I don't think it's gonna take me very long I'm gonna run a couple of headlands around along this end just so that we can get this piece over here taken care of and I don't know if I'm even going to put a worker over here or not. I'm not sure that it's even worth it. The way this guy uh, throws it out there with his 50 meter spread. Going 20. Whoa. I almost thought I was going to turn over there. That would have put a damper on my parade. That's for sure. Let's see here. If I can find out where I have been and where I have. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get this guy here knocked out, and then we need to rent some equipment. Well, would you look at what I found sitting here in the field? Evidently, I was in a hurry <laughs> to go to bed after I had planted this thing. <laughs> it was, uh, in, in my defense, it was a tad bit late when I got the last video done. That's for sure. I'm not uh, I'm usually up quite early so being up till about 11 11 30 that is uh, that is way past my bedtime <laughs> and I guess it shows there we go that guy is knocked out that took us like nothing let's go put this thing away and then we are gonna rent ourselves some equipment what equipment do we need we need a harvester two headers and I think trailer so let's hop on out let's go in here and scroll on over to here and we go looking for Homer I think it was on the bottom there there it be 
all the way down here at the end this guy right here now the one that we have that we kept least from doing our carrots I've already I kept and I changed the color on it and I went to more of like a Vidalia onion color kind of a golden you know yellow onions it's a little close to the orange but I think it will be just fine there we go that is again that is an awesome looking beast I like it I like it now did we change tires Ooh, those look very grippy I kinda like the tread on those things yeah let's do it why not it doesn't cost anything let's lease that 25 grand whoo that is so expensive so now we need our onions this guy right here and we need two of these let's go change color indeed thirty five hundred dollars to change the color wow and we have a problem we do not have enough money to to rent two of these headers that that is that is no good so let's lease yes and we still need to lease some trailers well I don't think we have a choice we're gonna have to pay it back anyway so let's go here and let's let's borrow there we go what do we borrow I don't know 55,000 fine now we are in debt like seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars <laughs> All right, scroll on down. There's our onions. Let's change his color again. Okay, there we go. Now we need trailers. Trailers, trailers, trailers. And I have one in mind. Imagine that. Somebody might have played with it just a little bit. And color I don't know what oh we can even change these I did not know that well, actually I kind of like that I don't like the rim color let's change it that looks better we've we got trailer borgs on there I don't know if they match exactly but I think the capacity needs to be right there hope oh man I have no idea now I'm really nervous. I don't think if we put that extension on there, I don't think that we're going to be able to get the uh, arm for the carrot. Not even a carrot. It's the onions. Sheesh. Spit it out, man. Spit it out. The onions. I don't think the arm for the harvester is going to go over the edge of that if we put that on there. I never thought about that. Ugh, that's no good. That is no good at all. So I guess we're going to have to go here, and we're going to have to lease this guy. Lease, yes. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's go get him. Well, at least have him delivered. There we go. Reset, yes. Okay, reset, yes. Okay. Reset, yes. Okay. there and we should be able to walk out here and there is everything including a tractor don't know why I did that I always end up grabbing something extra you're supposed to get it get on out of there let's move this guy out he just doesn't he's not yellow enough I need JCB that's what I need there we go as you can see I went and uh, rescued my planter there there we go. Park that guy right there. Now we need to get all of this stuff moving and over to the field. Let's let's just hop in and get it done. Now wait, I only have one header. Did I only rent one header? I thought I rented two headers. I only rented one header. Why did you let me do that? 
Okay, we can we can fix it. That's a that's an easy problem. I like that one. Go here, main color. The JCB looks very yellow. All right, lease that bad boy. There we go. Now that we've got that, we'll go grab that guy and let's see if we can get this stuff to the field. As I'm hooking up to this trailer here, I'm realizing I don't know that I needed two trailers. Because I've only got one of me and I can only cart so fast. So maybe we might end up being able to put one along the side of the field and then be able to go ahead and take the harvester itself and just dump it and see uh, see how that works but I'm not sure I might have made wasted just a tad bit of cash which I'm used to wasting a tad bit of cash so how are we gonna tackle this beast right here what is a good way to go through here and get two harvesters running at the same time I think what I want to do is I'm gonna take the guy who's flashing up here and I'm just gonna start him going and have him try to miss this little oasis thing here, little tree area. And while he starts running, leave that to a worker, I'm going to hop in the other harvester and I'm going to run the other direction, running down and around here, running a headland to see if maybe that would work. Because I think maybe, I believe, two headlands at least, probably three now that I think about it, on the ends because it took me three headlands when I did field six. When, I, when it was roadside, that took three headlands. So I don't see why it's going to take any less than three headlands on the roadside for, for the uh, helper to do their job there as well. So with that, let's see about dropping this thing down here. Back it up. I want to make sure we get what we need to get. And I think... We gonna miss that guy? Oh, it's gonna be close. Go. We're just gonna hope for the best. Well, I guess we won't hope for the best. Oh, I think we got it. No problem. Let's uh, unfold this guy. Let's turn on our help window and see if we can see what we need to do. Unfold the harvester. We can lower the head. Turn it on. There we go. And we will just start running us a couple of headlands right through here. A couple, nothing, three. We're going to do three headlands. I think that is going to be the way to go. Let's do this. Now, it's funny. It removes tops when you go in reverse, but it harvests when you go in uh, forward, which I just think is kind of interesting. There we go. Now we at least have some way to turn this beast around. This is a behemoth, too. This thing is a beast. Holy cow. Our helper's already got 80% in his tank. Oh, we are going to be so busy. We are going to be carting our butts off. What I should have done, and I didn't, is I should have modified the harvester so that it held substantial amount of onions instead of the 45,000 liters. I didn't have to go crazy with it. Just even double it or triple it. Do like 150,000. That would probably be a very, very good idea. I did go back in and I modded my trailers so that even without the extension on there, they hold 225,000 liters. But I did not modify these guys. Well, I'm going to keep on this, and then we're going to uh, obviously hop on a trailer and see if we can keep up with the helpers. Well, that's a little funny. It tells me that Helper E has completed their task. I am very curious as to how that is possible since I see a whole lot of onion field with a whole lot of onions in it. I could see if they said that he was full but not completed. So let me turn this guy around here. 
just from running the little bit of headlands I ran, I'm sitting at 116,000 liters in this guy. And then you say, wait, how does that thing hold 116,000 liters? Well, because I can't help myself, and I had to go in, and I made it so these guys hold 150,000 liters. And that seems, to, uh, that seems to do the trick. That helps out uh, tremendously as far as how much carding I need to do. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit there. Let's turn this guy around. And we're going to drop him down. And say, helper, take over. Where is... Where is he? And that's interesting. Oh, because I haven't done the headlands here. So, all right, let's start the engine. Turn this guy around. Well, you know, I probably, I might just leave that guy rocking there, and then I'll just finish headlands with this. I think that is a very good idea. As they say, you know, yeah, sometimes you just have to change your game plan a little bit. I've been told I don't do that very well, but that's okay. Turn it on. Are we rocking? And we are. So we've got a headland here. Let me pop this up. We've got, well, you can't see. There we go. So I went ahead and I did three over here on the left side of the field. And then I only did one along the bottom. So I'll do three along the right side of the field. All the way around these little trees, which I'm not sure why there's little trees there, but there are. And while H is going back and forth, we should be able to finish our headlands. And then we will just set this guy as a worker rocking and rolling and we should be able to bang this thing out relatively quick I'm keeping my fingers crossed I need to say modifying this to hold hundred and fifty thousand liters is not without consequences it doesn't seem to break very well <laughs> and it does not go uphill so well what are you gonna do there Wait, pipe out there let's pop that pipe out and we need one of those tractors we are sitting right now with 300,000 liters of onions and that is all that we have harvested is just the purple just the basically not even a full outline of the entire field and we've got 300,000 liters that is uh, that is going to be ridiculous amount of onions and the good news is is none of our animals take onions so we're gonna sell what we have to sell to pay back our loan and then everything else is gonna go right in our bank account dump it on in there and something tells me this could take a minute yes so I'm going to find no, no. What? How did I... How, oh, I've only got one trailer. That's it. I thought I had another tractor on it. I don't? I do. What the heck is going on? How did I miss... Oh, maybe I'm, I'm just a maroon. I'm sure of it. Let's... Is that it? Yes. Yes. Sorry for my incompetence. Alright, let's... There we go. We're going to take this guy over to the other side of the field. And that should work out well. We'll have one for one side, one for the other. And we will not get two complete empties from our harvester. But we should get like one and a half. And that should give us enough leeway, hopefully, to go dump our trailer and keep the harvesters rolling that's the main thing as the helper is which if I figure the carter is the helper now your job is to keep the main guy working so as long as I can do that 
and do my job, I will allow them to do their job. And now we have a helper running on both sides of the field. And my job is just going to be to cart. Keep up. Hopefully, I can do it. Let's let them go. Let's let them do their job. I think my tractor might be listening to some, uh, some really good music inside of there. <laughs> I don't think it's liking something. It's, uh... It's having it's having itself a fit. At least it's not too bad. It's not glitching and throwing everything everywhere. That's all. I wanted to show you my shaky tractor. <laughs> well, I seem to be having some issues with my tractor here. I think I might need a front weight. Just maybe. Come on, turn. I know it can do it. Turn, 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 turn. There it sort of, kind of goes. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this is... Well, they say nothing's for free. Evidently, modding this trailer was not uh, free. I think 225 liters is just a little too much. I wonder if I can do this a little bit different. Turn it that way. Back it up. There we go. Look, I'm already heading in the right direction. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. There we go. We'll get there. This is uh, a little slow. Come on. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't have took the duels off of this thing. Come on now. Yeah, I may need to do something here. I may need to change some things up. This is a little difficult. I think we have a weight somewhere. Let's get this thing back in there somehow and then we will... Okay, stop. And we will see if we can find ourselves a weight. It is amazing how much a weight helps keep your tires on the ground. Now don't get me wrong, this trailer is still way too heavy for this tractor, but at least I can steer. That is definitely a benefit. Definitely. Now let's see. Well, I want to actually, let's check. No, no, stop that. I wanted to check and see. Okay, so we are at 1326, and that is the sell point. 150 okay so there we go how much are we gonna make out of one trailer full wow look at that money go my goodness it's going 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 over 300,000 276,000 Per trailer. I've got another one sitting over there. Ready to go. It's full as well. And I have at least one of the harvesters is also full. Oh yeah. I think it's going to be a very profitable, profitable day. So I'm going to go drop this guy off. And we're going to grab the other trailer. Actually, I think I'm going to have to go through and empty some of the harvesters. So they can keep on rocking. Yes, indeed, they are both just sitting there waiting for somebody to come and unload them. Well, they didn't quite get it all, did they? Well, what are you going to do? So we're going to pull up here and see if we can hop in this guy. There we go. Pull it right there. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. We are just going to make so much money. It is just ridiculous. Back this pig up. Okay. There we go. We will have a little bit of scraps to go through and clean up before it's all said and done. Little things like that. I can see they're having a problem around the trees up there. But with all that being said, that's not too bad at all. 
it's going to be fairly painless and fairly profitable. So let me go ahead and get this guy uh, emptied out, and then we'll get a little bit out of the next harvester. Go dump this and do it all over again. Well, I have to say, we are doing ridiculously good. I, can't, I don't know if you can see the money, but we are up over $1.3 million already. And where are we at? And we still have all of that to harvest. I think we could actually hit over $2 million with this one harvest. Now, I want to let you know, though, if you guys go to do this, if you're on console or no matter what you're on, it is going to take some time, especially if you're not using any modded equipment at all. It is definitely, you will be running back and forth with your wagon the entire time, which is okay because it's well worth it. But it is definitely a lot of work to get this field harvested. There's just so much crop that you get off of these fields when you're doing onions or carrots. It is ridiculous. And even if I didn't have the sell point 150, I believe it's still selling for almost a thousand dollars a liter. So we would make a little bit less, but it would still be an extremely profitable crop. So that is all. I just wanted to let you know if you go to do it, you want to make this thing into a giant onion or carrot field, it will be very profitable, but also very, very time consuming. I tried to use, I was going to use the shooter maker, the windrow trailer because I don't believe it registers weight but you can do carrots with that trailer but you cannot do onions so I couldn't use it it would have been nice to have one trailer that I could have got a million liters in I'm just gonna park this guy down here so I don't drive in the crops when he comes back we can hop in and see what we can do I am going to just keep it up, do a little bit more. I'm actually going to swipe one of the harvesters here in a little while and do this guy right here and let one guy do this and we'll let the other guy do the big swath right up here in the middle. I think I might be doing that once uh, he gets done. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let's enter the vehicle and see. They should have been... Well, I thought there was a helper there, but evidently no. There we go. Now, what I've started doing is I don't let the trailers get all the way full. I just empty the harvester once. Okay, there's Shaky. <laughs> it's a move. Now, it stops shaking once I start moving, so that's something. Come on. But as you can see, the weight of these trailers is about all these tractors want to do. You start filling them all the way up, and it just takes forever to get up to any speed. Let's go empty this guy and uh, maybe swipe ourselves one of those harvesters. Here we go, working on the last piece. Whoa, what was that? That thing just took off like a shot. I'm not sure if my controller's got a glitch or if the harvester's got a glitch. But uh, either way, we saved it. But this is it for the main field. Let's uh, let's pull up this and just look it over to make sure. And by golly, that looks pretty good. This is all we have left. And I think that we are going to be close to $3 million made off of this field. I'm not sure if we're going to hit that big 3 mil mark. But I have 150 liters, 150,000 liters in each one of those trailers that are still sitting there. That's 300,000 all by itself. Plus whatever I've got in this harvester and whatever I've got in the other harvester that you cannot see way down there. We have been rocking it. This is ridiculously good money. And this is it. This is the last of the field. There is no more. 
Except for this little bitty bit right up here. That's where my other harvester ran out of, uh, ran out of room. We got no more. He's back behind me, dumping, getting empty. And, uh, there we go. And we've got it. So right now, we have $2,673,000 in the bank. Which is a stupid amount of money since I think we had, like, what, 30000 or even that. I don't even know if we had that by the time we got done. Well, we borrowed another fifty grand or fifty-five grand, so we were sitting maybe somewhere around thirty, forty grand. I think we have done quite well. I want to get these guys emptied. I don't think it's all gonna fit. I think that guy over there. <clears throat> excuse me, my goodness. I think that guy over there ran out of room in the trailer. I'm not sure if this guy's going to do the same thing or not. There we go. Okay, let him. It's going to be close. Yes, they did not finish dumping there. So what if we take this guy? We'll head over here. We'll see if there's any room at the end. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that, because if one can at least get emptied out, then that's one less rig we got to worry about. And I can see the bottom of the harvester over there, so got to be getting close. Go, go, go. Come on, take it all. I think it's going to. And it is empty. So now we'll top this off. These... These are not going to move very easily. So what do we got? Oh, yeah. And full. So we did not get both of them emptied. But we've got 225. So we've got, uh, what, 400, over 450,000. We've got almost 500,000 in these two trailers alone. Now, it's going to take me a while to get over to the cell point. So I don't think you want to watch me move at 8, 9, 10 miles an hour. So I will see you there. Well, I have seemed to have ran into a small snafu. The video of me actually putting the last crops in the cell point is gone. We do not have it. I do not know where it went. I am very sorry about that. I am sure I screwed up somewhere down the line. That's usually the way it goes. But I do need to tell you that we made ridiculous amounts of money. We are sitting at $3,352,000. With that, we still need to pay back our loan. I think we should do that right now. Let's pull this guy up. And where are we going? Right here. Uh, repay. I guess we have to push it a whole bunch of times. It won't let you just click it and hold it. But it is dropping rather quickly. That field was just so profitable. It blew my expectations about how much we were going to make off of that field. Just right out of the water. I cannot believe that. I mean, carrots do, or onions, they do well. But they don't sell for stupid amounts of money. I did not expect to make. How much did we make? Oh, what, wait, why do I do that? Uh, how much? How much? How much? So we made $3,371,000 off of one field. I would say that is a darn good day's work. It might be good enough day's work that we can buy ourselves a new piece of equipment or two. I do know next time we need to harvest a grass field. We need to harvest a clover field. We've got some silage to take care of. And obviously we have a bunch of planting to do. But I think that's going to be it for today. I want to. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing. And with that, be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya!